Grade 8 Math, number 9.4b. We've been doing algebraic representations of transformations. Now we're going to do reflections algebraically. We can find the coordinates of vertices of an image without graphing by using algebra. We can find them algebraically. A change left or right is going to affect the x-coordinate, and a change up or down will affect the y-coordinate. And these are specific rules for a transformation. The plus or minus signs, the positive or negative signs of a coordinate figure, will change when the figure is reflected, when we do reflection, across the x-axis or y-axis. We need to follow the rules for changing the signs when reflecting. So remember, reflecting is a flip. It's a flipped version of the figure, okay? So here are the rules for reflections algebraically. If we're going to flip across the x-axis, we multiply each y-coordinate by a negative 1. The x and y-coordinates will end up becoming x and negative y. See, because we multiplied it by a negative 1, the y. When we flip across the y-axis, we multiply the x-coordinate by negative 1. So you, denote, you notice here, when we're flipping across x, we multiply the y-coordinate by negative 1, and we flip across y, we multiply the x-coordinate. See how they're opposites? Okay? So when we flip across the y-axis, that up and down y-axis, we're going to multiply each x-coordinate by a negative 1. So the x and y-coordinates will end up becoming a negative x-y. See? Because it was multiplied by negative 1. So we've got rectangle ABCD, and it has vertices of, for A, right here, it's got negative 7, negative 1, B has a negative 3, negative 1, C has negative 3, negative 3, and D has negative 7, negative 3, okay? And it's plotted right here on our coordinate plane. We can reflect this rectangle across the y-axis to over here in the fourth quadrant and find A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. Then we can graph the rectangle in its image. So the first thing we're going to do is apply the rule to find the vertices of the image. Now remember, because we're going across the y-axis, we have to multiply the x by negative 1, okay? So we know the first number is the x, and the second number is the y. So these first ones are the ones that are going to have to be multiplied by negative 1. So here's our rule. We're going to multiply by negative 1. So negative 1 times negative 7 is a positive 7, because a negative times a negative makes a positive. Negative 1 times negative 3 makes positive 3. Negative 1 times negative 3 again makes a positive 3, and negative 1 times negative 7 makes positive 7. Then we just copy our y coordinates over for the image. See that? We just copied them over. Negative 1, negative 1, negative 3, negative 3. See? So only the x got multiplied by negative 1. We multiplied the x coordinate of each vertex by a negative 1. All right? So now we can graph rectangle ABCD. Remember, whenever you see a little shape, whatever that shape is, if it was a triangle, it'd be triangle ABC. If it's a rectangle or a square, it's rectangle ABCD. And they draw the little shape so it's quicker than having to write the word rectangle, okay? So we graph rectangle ABCD and its image A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. The only way the coordinates are going to change is if one of the coordinates will be multiplied by negative 1. Because we were going across the y-axis, we multiplied the x. We multiplied the opposite one, okay? So now, let me get this cap off my marker, we end up with these as our new points. See? A is 7, negative 1, 7, negative 1, B is 3, negative 1, 3, negative 1. C prime is 3, negative 3. 3, negative 3 for C prime. And D prime is 7, negative 3. See? Now all we have to do is connect them, don't we? And we've got our image. So because we were going across the y-axis, we multiplied the x-coordinate by negative 1. If we were going across the x-axis, we would have multiplied the y by negative 1, wouldn't we? It would have been the opposite. So, as I did in the last video, I'm going to freeze on this so you can write this down. And you can pause the video if you want to right now. And I'll keep it here for a second so that you can copy this into your notes because this is really important.
for how to do reflections algebraically, okay? You want to have this in your, definitely have this in your notes, all right? Okay, so you know what we're going to do next? We're following along in order. We're going to do rotations algebraically in the next video, okay? And I'll show you the rules for that, and we'll graph an image of a rotation algebraically. I'll see you next video, 9.4c. Keep your chin up. We're making it. Bye.